Good morning, Sacramento. How about them Sacramento Kings last night going for their sixth straight win at home against the OKC Thunder, and they got it done. Final score from Golden 1 last night, 118-113. to 113. The Sacramento Kings and the OKC Thunder went at it toe-to-toe. Fun, exciting game, but when we needed it the most, the Sacramento Kings stepped up offensively and defensively, and they got it done. Let's talk about the numbers with the starting five. Harrison Barnes in 39 minutes. He had 11 points, two boards, two assists. You know, quiet overall off night, uh, quiet night offensively for Harrison Barnes. Um, made four or four from this free throw line, but make no mistake about it. Um, HP has been on fire the month of uh, January, but tonight was, uh, I'm sorry, last night was his actually um, his uh, uh, an off night offensively. So looking forward to seeing Harrison Barnes bounce back tonight. Uh, De'Aaron Fox in 38 minutes. Swipe it being swipe it, man. 25 points, four boards, two assists. Uh, just a attack mode Fox typical game that we, we are accustomed to seeing. Demonis Sabonis, uh, flat out stud, man. 38 minutes, he had 18 points, 13 boards, 14 assists. Domas was 8-8 eight eight from the line as well. And uh, just it's crazy how this guy is putting up these type of numbers with a broken thumb. Uh, let me remind you, 14 dimes with the broken thumb. Uh, Domas is insane. Just another game for Domas. And Kevin Herter in 35 minutes, he was solid. I thought Kev was solid last night. 14 points, 6 boards, 1 assist. Uh, he was 2 of 7 from downtown. Overall, 6 of 13 from the field. But I thought Kevin Herter did some solid, solid things last night. And then Keegan Murray was the game, the player of the match. Uh, Keegan Murray, a.k.a. what I call him, Baby Durant. 37 minutes, he had 29 points, 14 boards, one assist. Um, that is just insane, man. Uh, 10 and 12 overall from the field. He was 5 of 7 from downtown. Uh, I loved Keegan Murray uh, a lot last night. Just seeing him offensively put on a clinic. And to get 14 boards with that, man, he is a talented rookie. And he's a keeper. I mean, I've seen some forums and some stuff like on social media having his name next to the rumor mill that's just insane i don't believe it i want to put his name in the nba rumor mill because i really do believe he's a keeper and i really do believe that if the kings don't make a move for a third star keegan murray can eventually ultimately become that third star with fox and sabonis um, that's how sky a ceiling is and I think that he's going to get even better moving forward. So, shout out to Keegan Murray, man. He tore it up tonight, uh, last night. And I hope he does tear it up tonight as well. Uh, Malik Monk off the bench, 16 point, uh, min, eight, Sorry, eight, sixteen minutes last night. He had five points, three boards, five dives from Malik. You know, offensively, he's going through it right now. He's struggling offensively. But still finding ways to be really uh, factorable. And with five dimes last night, Malik was definitely making out there making plays. Trey Lyles got 14 minutes. He had 7 points, 5 boards, 0 assists. Davion Mitchell had 11 minutes, and he had 5 points, 2 boards, 0 assists. Just uh, defensively, he was uh, locked in, and he made some good, impressive defensive stops uh, in the first half against Shea Gill, just Alexander. And uh, speaking of Davion Mitchell, I want to give Derek Mitchell, his uncle, a shout-out. It was actually good to run into him uh, yesterday and um, connect with them. So I appreciate you, sir. Always good to connect with you, and it's always good to see you, man. Um, Chemezi Metu, in 10 minutes, he had four points, three boards, zero assists. Casey Akpala got two minutes. He had zero points, zero on zero assists. And that was pretty much the rotation tonight. I'm a little surprised Rashad Holmes did not get any minutes tonight. I thought he was very deserving, considering the fact that he played really well the other night in L.A. against the Lakers in the start. But, yeah, Metu got his minutes at – um, as a backup center beyond Sabonis and uh, Rashad Holmes was did, didn't get any minutes tonight so kind of sucks to see that because he had a really good game the last game and I hope that you know you're going to need Rashad Holmes tonight uh, because you are playing his former team and a very good team at the Philadelphia 76ers you know overall from the field we shot 48% from the field uh, 32% from beyond the arc you know 12 38 from downtown 86% from the free throw line. I love the fact that they shot that really well from the free throw line last night. You know, 24-28, uh, 15 turnovers, but we had 25 dimes to make up for it. 
And uh, tonight, let's look forward to tonight because tonight we do have a very good Philadelphia 76ers team in town. Um, it's going to be a tough game. Looking forward to seeing how we play against Philadelphia 76ers. You know, how we're going to contend and compete and defend Joel and B and James Harden. Um, overall, like, I think that we can definitely do a really good job of winning this game tonight because we're at home. And on top of that, I think that uh, this team is different when they play at home where it's supposed to they play on the road because in the Eastern Conference against the Eastern Conference teams because last time we played Philadelphia, it wasn't the best game we had. Uh, we ended up losing in Philadelphia. They were all over us. But I think tonight can be a winnable game as uh, long as we play our A game, as long as we're making shots, as long as we're shooting at a high clip and being on the arc and making our free throws. I think the Sacramento Kings have a good chance of winning tonight. It's going to be a good test, though. The whole second night of a back-to-back, I'm not worried about that because there's no travel time. You know, we played last night at home, and tonight we're playing at home. So I think that, you know, moving forward, I think that the second night of a back-to-back uh, shouldn't be an issue. Uh, you should be able to ready to go and uh, stay locked in and get this uh, W tonight. Um, but make no mistake about it. You know, last night you played OKC. Tonight you're playing a Philadelphia team that's a contending championship-caliber team. And uh, you got to come out. You got to play your A game and give yourself enough chance. Uh, give yourself a chance to win this basketball game tonight. So, with that being said, that's gonna do it for me for today's video. I really do appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, have yourself a great rest of your Saturday. I will catch you guys later on tonight. I'll be here at the after the post game for the Philadelphia 76ers and the Sacramento Kings tonight. So, with that being said, I will see you guys then. Peace.